And so the title of this presentation is how to build a pseudo-random functions from public random permutations. So it's a joint work by Elan Aboje and Bart Manning. So a pseudo-random permutation, or a PRP, and pseudo-random function, a PRF, um, are the two most fundamental primitives in cryptography. Um, okay. So in the similar work of Ruby and Tragov, they introduced a way to design a PRP from PRFs. So their work was actually modified by the um, desk block cipher, and in, um, which consists out of um, R rounds of the FASO network. So it can be shown that four round is sufficient to get birthday bound security. So, but people soon realize that actually we need the opposite constructions, which means we want to build a PRF from PRPs. Um, in the past years, various approaches of turning a PRP into a PRF was introduced. For example, the song of permutations by Berale et al. in 1998, the encrypted Davis Meyer by Gosciardi and Seren in 2016, and the encrypted Davis Meyer duo by Menning and Nervous in 2017. Um, actually, um, so if you look at those constructions, you will see that all those constructions only use the block ciphers in the forwards direction. But the block cipher is usually designed to be both efficient in the forward and the inverse direction. So which will make block cipher actually an over-engineered primitive for the PRF design. But now, sparked by the SHA-3 competition, which is announced in 2007, um, with its winner in 2012, and its winner, Ketchak, is a permutation-based hash function. So it actually leads to uh, increasing interest in constructions built on public random permutations. So those permutations, not like block ciphers, is usually very fast in the forward direction, but not necessarily very fast in the inverse direction. Now, actually, this should be the complete picture, where we um, have the PRPs, PRFs, and um, public random permutations, RPs, and public random functions. So we already discussed about um, the conversion between the PRP and PRFs. Now we, um, yeah, the conversion between the public random permutations and public random functions can actually be done in the similar way, where they, um, the, the resulting function is usually keyless, and we assume that the underlying primitives are ideal, then we can prove the security in the indifferentiability framework. So um, the conversion between RP and to RF, RF is done by the indifferentiability of the sum of permutations, and the conversion between RF and RT is by indifferentiability of FASO networks. So I think it's quite clear why it's not so interesting to build RPs and RFs from PRP and PRF. So, which means the only interesting thing is um, how we can uh, how can we build PRP and PRFs um, using RPs and RFs. So the first case is building PRP from an RP, which is already considered by the um, Eva Mansour construction or the key alternating ciphers. Uh, so it was introduced in 1991 by Ivan and Mansour, and then in 2012, um, the concept of key alternating cipher was introduced, which is actually um, yeah, the traded Ivan Mansour cipher. So in 2016, um, Juan and Desao showed the tight security bonds of the key alternating ciphers. Um, the next case is the um, conversion from RF to PRF, which is done by the key alternating FISO cipher, which was um, introduced in 2004 by Gentry and Ramsam, where they combined the idea of FISO network with the Eva Mansour construction, and they show that yeah, the resulting construction will be birthday bound secure if uh, we have four rounds of it. 
Um, the next problem is conversion from RF to PRF, which is considered by um, Gaussi and Desaro. And um, in 2015, they have a similar construction like this, where they can turn RS into a PRF. Mm. So which makes um, the only problem which is still open um, is how, how can we design a pseudo-random function from public random permutations, which is actually the title of this work. So um, to formulate the security definitions precisely, we are going to introduce an attack game. So at the beginning of the game, one of the two worlds is um, chosen. So here is the real world and the ideal world on the right side. And the, this adversary A will get Q um, construction queries to the construction oracle, this one and this. And um, the adversary will also get P primitive oracles to each of the primitive oracles. Um, in the real world, the construction oracle is actually our proposed um, so the random function, and in the ideal world, it's actually a perfectly random function. Now, um, the primitive oracles are the same in the both world. Mm, so we assume that A never makes the same query because um, the both world will just return the same result by asking the same queries. Um, so after the communicating with the oracle, um, A should state which words it was given. If A cannot do so, then we can deduce that um, the given construction is actually a good pseudo-random function. Um, we see that the advantage of the adversary to distinguish the two worlds um, increases if the number of the queries that um, the adversary can ask to the oracle increases. Um, so, of course, we are going to start um, to try to build a pseudo random function from one public random permutation call. Um, so, in our work, we actually analyze the general construction where um, we also use a linear um, pre-processing function and a linear um, post-processing function, the L1 and L2. So we actually show that um, there can, so we cannot build a pseudo-random function with beyond birthday bound security with just one single um, permutation call. So because um, in, in our work, we actually analyze all the variants of the um, linear, pro, um, linear functions. And for each of the variants, we give an uh, attack to show the, um, the scheme can be broken in the birthday bond or even faster. But um, here, I'm, going to, I'm only going to explain the most general function where all the inputs, so all those five inputs, um, have influence on the construction. So the idea is actually, as long as we can find um, yeah, a collision between the input M of the construction oracle, the construction um, query. So the construction query is in red and the primitive query is in blue. So as long as we can find um, a, um, a collision between the construction query and the input X of the primitive query, then there will be a relation between the output Y of the primitive query with the output C of the construction query. Then in that case, um, we can prove that the um, yeah, the construction can be distinguished from random in the birthday bond. Um, so of course, the next step um, is try to build pseudo-random functions with two permutation calls. So instead of directly build a pseudo-random function from random permutations, a natural way is, of course, to first design a PRP from RPs, and then the next step is to build the PRF from PRPs. So for example, we can first use um, the RPs to build the Informasu constructions and then um, turn the Informasu constructions into a PRF using, for example, um, the solve permutations. But the problem is we know that the solve permutation is optimal secure as long as the underlying block ciphers are secure. But the Informasu construction is only birthday bound secure. 
which means if we just plug in the eighth month rule constructions into the self permutations, then the resulting PRF, PRF will only be birth if unsecure. Of course, um, we can use two rounds of even month rule constructions because two rounds of even month rule is 2n divided by 3 bits secure. Then um, the resulting PRF will also be beyond birthday bound secure with the same security. But then the resulting construction will be um, twice as expensive as before because we, here we need four permutation calls to get to n divided by three bit security. So which means we need a dedicated um, security proof. So um, the main construction, the main contribution of this work is the introduction and the um, yeah, security analysis of the sum of Eva Mansour construction. Um, we so we look at all the different variants of the sum of Ivan's rule construction and prove their security. So the first variant is um, sum of Ivan's rule with two identical permutations and one single key. So I think it's quite clear why this thing cannot work because yeah, uh, we have the same y here and then those just cancel out and the c will always be the same, which is equal to the uh, used key. So the second construction is when we use um, same um, permutation, but with two different keys. However, in this case, we can sh prove that the, yeah, there's, its security is actually only um, secured to the birthday bond. So the attack idea is actually very simple. If, um, if we have this construction, then in the birthday bond, we can, yeah, in birthday bound queries, we can find two construction queries. Um, the M and M star, where M and M star will collide. So as long as this equation happened, then we can show that um, the output C is equal to the output C star. Then again, we can distinguish the construction from random. So the third um, construction, where we um, use two independent permutations and one single key. So in this case, um, we can again show that it can be broken in the birth bound because um, yeah, the idea is to find a collision of the input M of the construction query with the, um, the two inputs X of the two primitive queries. So as long as this happens, then we can find the relation between the output Y1 of the first primitive query, the output Y2 of the second primitive query with the output C of the construction query. Then again, with this relation, we can prove that um, the real construction can be distinguished from the ideal world construction. So now the last variant is um, the sum of Eva Mann's rule construction while using two independent permutations and two independent keys. So this construction is the only construction that we um, can prove that can be secure beyond the birthday bond. Here we have um, 2n divided by three bits security and we also provide attack to show the tightness of this security bond. So the idea of the attack is actually as long as we can find a collision between the input M of the construction query with the input U of the first primitive query and at the same time, the, this input M should also collide with um, the input X of the second primitive query. So as long as we can find this two, um, then we can prove that the security, uh, then we can prove that uh, we can distinguish the real world construction from the ideal world construction. So um, of course, this two, um, those two equations happens in two n divided by three queries. Um, so the security proof of this construction is actually performed with Patrin's edge coefficient technique. Um, 
Yeah, it's a little bit too complex to explain the proof in detail here, but the idea of the proof is the first iteration of Patrin's meal theory. However, um, here the adversary A has query access to the underlying primitive, um, the two underlying primitives. So this makes accounting more difficult. Um, but anyway, the resulting construction will have two n divided by three bit security. Um, so in this work, we um, consider the problem of design, uh, designing a pseudo random function from public random permutations by introducing the sum, uh, the sum of Eva Mansour construction. So um, yeah, in the previous version of this work, we also um, consider um, one of our site results is actually introduce another um, construction which has the same security bound, but we, um, yeah, it was removed after the observation by Mido Nandi because we make a very stupid mistake in the, in the proof. But um, yeah, this is just a side result. The main contribution of this work is the sum of Ifman's rule construction. So um, the, um, the conclusion, so in this work, we first show that there cannot be beyond birthday bound secure PRFs from um, using one single permutation call. And then we show that um, we propose the PRF sum of Ifo Mansu construction, and we show that um, the construction can only be birthday bound secure if um, we use one key or two permutation calls, but with the same permutation. And um, we also prove that the same construction can be 2n divided by 3 bits secure as long as we use two independent keys and two independent permutation calls. So for the future, um, yeah, it will be interesting to study if we can get the same security by using just one key or um, two permutation calls to the same query. And if there will be a construction with the same security um, built on uh, using one key and two permutations um, to the same, and two permutation, permutation calls to the same permutation. And it will also be interesting to study the security of the um, some Eva Mansour, uh, some of Eva Mansour constructions, but multiple Eva Mansours. So then we can see if the security increases with the number of permutation calls. Um, so this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Is there any questions? Thank you. Uh, then I would have one, please. Namely, I, I guess this is not in your paper, but can you remind me or us about the best construction with beyond birthday bound security with only one permutation, like if you can make multiple calls? Um, you can make, as long as you can, you, you mean the, you, you make multiple calls, but to the same permutation? Yes, there's only one permutation that you have. Uh, um, yeah, I think, um, but what about the keys? Can we use multiple keys? Yes. Uh, in that case, I'm actually not really sure because um, yeah, I think the sum of permutation and the sum of multiple permutations can be very efficient because you can evaluate the permutations um, at the same time. Um, yeah, but I'm not sure if we, we use we just use one per, um, one permutation what the security security bound will be. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I cannot really. Okay, uh, I, okay. I, I'm not really sure about that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, is there any more question? Okay, then I guess we all get and enjoy these chocolates and coffee that they announced. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>